Many have downplayed the charge rifle, saying it's the worst gun in the game. But after my experience, I gotta say, don't underestimate the power of this charge rifle. Let's get straight into the video as to why. Never did I expect the charge rifle to be anything like the Kraber in terms of its damage output. Most tier lists out there, and mind you, I don't really care for them because tier lists are always very convoluted and, you know, meta shifts all the time. So tier lists will always change as well. But the point is, is that so many people have written off the charge rifle and they've said, oh, it's the worst gun in the game. Don't pick it up. Don't waste your time. And so my curiosity peaked and I was like, well, why, why do people think it's bad? And so I looked at the old iteration and the new one that we currently have. And the old version, honestly, just seemed very, very easy, almost too easy to use because you would just hold down the trigger and you would just zap whatever's in front of you. But I think with this new iteration, it requires a high risk, high reward type of approach, much like the wingman. If you can hit your shots with the wingman, you have arguably one of the best guns in the game. Same thing with this, the charge rifle. If you can land those eight shots, out of that charge rifle if you have the, the proper stocks and what have you you can potentially two tap blue shields purple shields and if you have rampart on your team you can do like over 170 damage headshot and that could easily erase even red shields so when i've when i've used this in battle i've seen the results and the numbers don't lie I've been able to, to hold down the fort with my team. And so long as I hit the shots, we're doing good. Of course, like I said, if you miss the shots, you're kind of in trouble. But I think that's the whole point of the charge rifle and, and its beauty. I think the beauty comes from the fact that it is not a weapon that you can just easily pick up and play because it requires more intention. It requires a more deliberate approach because you have to be very patient and you have to wait for the opportunity to shoot and get that big again that that big reward which is that big crit the 150s the potential 160s even a body shot is like 95 sometimes even 100 so i feel like people underestimate and uh, really devalue the charge rifle just because it's a weapon that so many people have written off but i highly recommend trying it out just go into you know uh, an actual game and just see how much damage the output it does. It's insane. So that being said, let's move on to the next point. One thing I've come to love and appreciate about the charge rifle is actually that it plays similar to what a peacekeeper would in that both are really about peak shooting that you want to hide behind a corner or behind a wall wait for the enemy to peek and then you shoot them and the charge rifle plays that role very well because you want to be behind a wall to charge your shot up and the moment you know your shot's about to go off you can peek out get your shot off and get the reward and i love that feeling because the reward you get is so high compared to other respective weapons where you might have to let off a full magazine to get the same damage that you would from one shot of a charge rifle. And to me, that's special because it means that your patience will be rewarded. So this goes back to the high risk, high reward, where it's it's the patience and the willingness to take that shot, knowing that the reward at the end is going to be so valuable for your teammates and yourself to stay alive in a gunfight. Because while, you're, while your enemy is shooting at you with a full mag, all it takes is one peak shot from a charge rifle to basically just one or two tap them, depending on their shield, of course. And that is super gratifying. I love the feeling of taking a risk and seeing that risk pay off big time. It's a, I mean, one of the reasons why I love the wingman so much. It's my favorite gun in the entire game. And the same can be said with the charge rifle. They both play similar roles where you can miss four out of your six shots but the last two shots are what you really need because the damage output is so high that it scares the opponent 
but it really rewards you for your patience and persistence. So it's really a gun about persistence. If you can persist, if you can really persevere through all the missed shots, but then be happy and be grateful for that one 150 crit shot, Charge Rifle is, is honestly one of the the best guns I've used so far in the game. It's Again, it's undervalued, but I really think it's in the right hands, it's, it's a monster, it's a threat. So what do you folks think? Uh, what are your thoughts about the Charge Rifle? Have you been using it recently? Let me know in the comments section. Uh, what do you feel is your most favorite weapon thus far in Apex Legends? Be sure as always to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, new warriors, stay strong, keep fighting, and may the forest be with you all, always. All right, take care, and see you again soon. Peace.